Hi there, thanks for joining me for another video today. I'm back in Automobilista 2 because I want to do a bit of comparison with um, a video I made a little while ago where I drove a Caterham 7 620R around Brands Hatch. I did that in Project Cars 2, but Automobilista 2 also has a Caterham 7 620R and it also has Brands Hatch. So I wanted to do the same thing again and compare the two different driving experiences. The reason being is because it's widely regarded that Reza Studios puts a lot more effort into their cars and I quite frankly agree with this, their stuff drives a lot better than the cars in Project Cars 2 does. Um, of course they're using the Madness engine as well so all of the actual graphical niceties are going to be there but that's not really important for this video. What I want to know is does the, the Caterham 7 drive as fun? in this game as it does in Project Cars 2 because I concluded in that one that it was just a hilarious thing to drive. Loads of really controllable low steer um, and I had a quite a good time getting it around that track and was quite good at it as well. <laughs> no I wasn't. Um, but this car I don't know, never driven it so it might be hilarious um, but yeah I'm gonna do the drive Make, the, make some observations and uh, comment about it when the race is over, if I survive the race, that is. <laughs> Stay tuned. Now I've still got Rolling Start selected for my last time in Automobilista. Um, I've got no idea what gear I'm in because the display on the car doesn't work. Five laps of Brands Hatch in this lunatic machine. Uh, gonna take it a little bit easy on first lap, I think. Car's already feeling fairly lively on the rear. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna go badly for me. certainly feels far more weightier than the Project Cars 2 car. Their version of the 6, 620R is fairly light feeling compared to this. <laughs> it's, it's just every, every slight touch of the accelerator sends the back end into a frenzy. <laughs> I love it. It's so controllable, though. And on the grass, I went. Let's see if I can find reverse. There's reverse. First gear. <laughs> I mean last year, it's, it's, it's fine. I'm <laughs> just trying to get used to driving this car. It's absolutely crazy. It's, I'm finding it's actually got more of a tendency to understeer than the project car. So you go into the corner with heaps of understeer and then you hit the throttle it just starts going the other way look at that just loads and loads of understeer and then no oversteer then because I was in the wrong gear it's just tons of oversteer there Just using the throttle now to point the nose of the car in the direction that I want it to go in. And maybe that's how you're going to drive this, I don't know. So it's like, coming to here, there's the understeer, now hit the throttle, there's the oversteer. Going pretty slow around here, I think. But that's because I'm still trying to figure out how the hell to drive this car. 
got loads of understeer, and again, I'm just going to use a throttle to straighten it out. Straight onto the curb we go. Not making any ground on the cars in front because I'm too busy pissing about. See, it's just, just understeer like crazy. No chance of recovering that. I was having fun. I'm dead now. Come on, get on the get on the track, on the tarmac. I think I've got damage turned off here, so I can afford to have a little bit of a mess around. So I'm gonna come down here with loads of revs on to, to try and use the oversteer to There you go, there's a oversteer that's just turned into four wheel drift. I don't know if you can actually appreciate how much this car is sliding around on the video, but in, in VR land, it's freaking crazy. I don't know where the rest of the field have gone, I don't really care at this point, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just... it's hilarious. It's a drift machine. So much for uh, smooth driving and being fast and consistent. That went out the window. I'm going to break quite early, get it turned in. Oh, let's just use the throttle to keep it going in the direction that I want it to go in. It's a bit of a problem because I don't want to be hitting the accelerator then because I'm just going to foil drift into the gravel otherwise. Quite low gear as well, that is, and there you go, I've overcooked it. <laughs> I think we'll put this session down to just messing about, shall we? It's just so easy to go a little too hard and then uh, overcook it. It's so tempting to just give it a little bit more gas when you're in a slide. Of course, it's quite a fine art, one which I have got no mastery of whatsoever. So I'd say this car is far more lively than the Project 2 Project Cars 2 version. Um, I actually find it a little less drivable because of the understeer is so pronounced. I don't know if that's more realistic. Or whether it's just because I'm a thoroughly shite driver. Probably the latter. I guess it's just a question of balance and with this car you've really got to feel where the balance where the threshold of grip is so that you can balance the car on it in order to drive it fast which I guess would be true of the real life counterpart and sensing the threshold of grip is not something that I'm very good at I can feel the rotation of the rear through the steering quite quite vividly but it's it's more of a, a reactive um, sensation rather than one that I can predict 
so I'm just reacting to what I'm feeling and hearing rather than what I'm feeling if that makes any bloody sense whatsoever <laughs> There's so much fun there. Oh dear, wrong. So I have to try and concentrate this time. Broke a little late into that corner and ended up using a bit of oversteer to get me around. Otherwise, I'm going to try and just really be gentle on the throttle coming out the corners to stop or limit as limit the oversteer as much as possible. As fun as it is, it's not fast. Even with very gentle throttle application, there's still a degree of oversteer. I mean, I think driving this car is an exercise in being... Sorry, I think driving this car is an exercise in being super smooth. But even now, I mean, going down the straight there, just, just taking that corner, the rear end was coming out. I'm trying to keep up with the rest of the field at the same time as being an absolute pussy on the accelerator. Come on, just use the oversteer again. So anyway, I'm perfectly 100% sure that I've got traction as I can put my foot down. Got a blue car looking up the inside of me. Even trailing the brakes on turning doesn't really help much. So if things start going wrong, it's increased steering angle and boot the accelerator. I think there's uh, also a degree of planning way ahead of the corner how exactly you're going to approach it and where you think you got a brake brake 10 meters earlier
But I'm finding so much of my concentration is being taken up by just controlling the car. It should really be something that's sort of automatic to a certain degree. I'm not actually having any capacity left to concentrate on the track itself. So I don't know what gear in, but it's got to be fairly high up and I'm still breaking away around that corner. <laughs> it's just, just about held on to that. If this is how the real car handles, it's uh, it would be a, a pretty much a brown seat experience all the way around the track. A little too too hot. Ended up lost the place because I was uh, too busy cocking about with the oversteer. I'll say one thing though: it is very controllable. Trying to kill me, you red bastard. So lap six of five, thanks to AMS, AMS 2's extra lap increment, if you have a rolling start on. Wow, took that corner quite nicely. got to keep your input so smooth. Drop another gear just to get a little bit more extra rev headroom because I need the oversteer. <laughs> Around the final corner for the last time. I think I'll breathe a slight sigh of relief when this is over. Because <laughs> that was atrocious. <laughs> Pretty good fun though. Um, wowzers. Yeah, in conclusion. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't see a thing either, she doesn't help. Yeah, in conclusion, um, there's a remarkable difference between the way the Project Cars 2 car handles and the way the Automobilista 2 car handles. I think that um, both are suitably leery, but I think the Project Cars 2 one is easier to drive uh, simply because it doesn't have uh, the, the understeer aspect. I mean, there seems to be quite huge levels of grip on the front end of that. Um, that was much more challenging to drive, as you can tell I didn't manage to really drive it very well at all. Um, 
Whether this is more realistic toward the real car, I really don't know. If anyone actually owns one of these things, then get on the comments and let me know. Not that um, this video will probably propagate that far into the realms of YouTube, but uh, it would be really interesting to know. I, I, I'm tempted to say that the Automobile Ballista car is actually the more realistic one, simply because they clearly put more effort into all of their cars than um, uh, the Project Cars 2 lot did. Uh, so I would say that that's more realistic to drive um, and given the fact that it's so difficult to drive and they are very raw machines in real life uh, the perception of speed as well is another factor because in, in, in video games or in, a, in VR environment you don't really have the same sensation of speed as you do in real life so I could be trying to take those corners at sort of 80, 90 mile an hour in which case you would get a lot of understeer probably in any car not unless, in, unless it had you know shitloads of aero which they don't so in that respect yeah it's probably very realistic but of course because it's you know I'm in VR and it's a simulation it you don't get that same sense of speed it's actually quite slow so when you feel oh, I'm going really slowly through this corner you're actually doing 90 mile an hour which in that case the physics and the maths behind it all would say yeah pal you're going to understeer so yeah very difficult to drive I think um, if you've got uh, this title um, and a steering wheel <laughs> and you don't even need a VR helmet but if you've got one then great Tr have a go of uh, have a go of one of those have a go of the uh, KTM 7620R around any track and make sure that all your traction control and everything switched off they're bloody good fun anyway if you got this far into the video and you're uh, listening to me bambling rambling on about uh, god knows what then thank you very much and congratulations and uh, I shall see you in the next video for some more terrible driving thanks a lot